and I'd like to say that the winner of that, and I'd like Abby Americans to come forward and present the prize to the winning student, the fourth year student here, Claire O'Brien. So Claire, if you'd like to step forward. There we go. This is the one. So thank you, Margaret. Let me make sure that Claire gets the right prize. Is Claire here? Yes. Come on, Claire, don't be shy. So Claire is the winner of the photography in the emotions exhibition. Well done, Claire. And Anthony Mellingham will represent the prize. Thank you, Margaret. Little photo shot here. Well done. Thank you for your patience. Well done, Claire. And the second aspect of that, I said, was that it was an art exhibition that was held in Abbey Road uh, in, in town, and the winner of that uh, art exhibition was Alexandra Colches. Sorry, Christina Torian. Is that right? Christina? Are you here, Christina? And Alexandra. And uh, it was a joint one. That's why we had joint prize winners, Alexandra Colches and Christina Torian. So would you like to step forward and receive your joint prize as winners of the art exhibition? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like now to hand you over to uh, when the photograph takes place. And Anthony American again will present the prize to our prize winners. Thank you, Alexandra and Christina. Thank you. Okay, so now I'd like to hand you over to the main business of this evening, which is the opening of the show. Um, David Rooney will open the show, but before we do it, I'd like to ask the president of the Institute. Uh, Dr. Kieran O'Connor, President Kieran O'Connor, if you'd like to introduce uh, David Rooney, please. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, on behalf of AIT, welcome all the parents and friends here this evening. Um, I hardly recognise some of the students, they're so done up this evening and confused because when you see them around the college normally, uh, they're not that well dressed or poor, so <laughs> it's difficult to recognise you. However, can I just say at the outset, um, I mean, four years ago when we made the decision to move the art and design people onto the campus, uh, there was a lot of opposition to it. To say, not from the students, but to do from some of the staff. Uh, but I think you add a huge amount to what's going on around the campus. And I think it's great when you come in some weekends or you come in on a Monday, and we always know if the art people have been around or the art and design, there's a bit of stuff worked on inside in the college or around the college. And it adds a great dimension, I think, to the college. And it takes that sterility out of what we do here. But this evening too, what I want to do is to congratulate you on the work. It's fantastic to go around and just look at all of the work. And again, I would join with um, Ollie in congratulating the staff. We have a wonderful group of staff here and the work that they have done with you over the last four years and three years. Uh, and the work that they produce year in, year out. It's a credit to the staff that we have here. I would also like to thank them too, because this year uh, they've also put together a new degree, uh, which will start this September. And uh, it went through validation. Uh, a fortnight ago, and the panel were blown away with the content and the structure of the program, so I think it would be great. But I, tonight, on behalf of all of the management and I want to just pay tribute to uh, the one of the staff that we have here in the Art and Design Department. So I'd like you to show your appreciation. To them. <laughs> Me, really, I just want to introduce uh, our guest for this evening, is David Rooney. David is a well renowned illustrist. Graduated, I think, sometime in the early 90s. He's 25 years working. A lot of his work's in the Irish Times and the Hot Press. Uh, he told me that Sheila Hawk, if you can believe this, taught him art. So I don't know where Sheila's gone now. She's hiding here, but she taught him art. So she must have been very young then, Sheila, when you thought of it. 10 or 11, maybe, but whoever. Uh, he's really well renowned. He is also an external examiner to uh, our programs here in, in the Institute. And he has given great praise and gave encouragement to both the staff and the students over the year. And it's my great pleasure to introduce David Rooney. Good evening, Mark. Thank you. So thanks for the uh, very kind uh, introduction, Professor Cahan, and uh, from Oliver as well. Um, I'd like to thank the, the, the formal invitation. is wonderful, but uh, it's it's especially pleasing for someone like me that when the fourth year is in the form of Connor English got in touch and asked me to open the show. So that's, you know, it's a, it's, it's a touching uh, uh, um, gesture and, uh, and it's really appreciated. Um, every now and again, a, a special group of students 
kind of pass through the river of a course like this, and it becomes very evident. In the, you know, my first encounter with this group was three or four years ago, and and back then I had great um, expectations as they passed through that they would fulfil the uh, the innate abilities that they had, and thankfully they have. Uh, when I was writing the, the speech last night, I was hoping that um, that it would be the case, and it is. You know, so. Um, like it's wonderful when a small core group can, re can really affect not just a class, but the course in general. And I think uh, when staff encounter a, a group like this, it, um, it, it enthuses them. So it's a two-way street, you know. All my, all my encounters here with, with students, I, I, always, I always view it as a, as a two-way experience, you know. I, I should come away enriched, uh, and hopefully in some way I can enrich them, you know. And, um, this has been the case with, with, with this group. Um, I just back to the staff again. When the staff have the opportunity to work with a group like this, it, uh, it fortifies them, and, they, and the less, um, say the less uh, enlightened individuals they might encounter in the course in general benefit from that enthusiasm that they've got from a group like this. So, um, but of course, uh, as I might have mentioned, with such promise comes great expectations, and uh, today is just the beginning. Um, I'm reminded of the words of um, an old teacher of mine, uh, the teacher friend, who was um, a friend who happened to be a teacher, uh, who I knew in the States, and uh, sadly she passed away, but some words that of hers kind of have lived with me ever since. She, she died in the early 1990s, and it was um, that you, you owe to those who desperately wish to have been given such innate ability to make the best possible use of it every day. And that's something I would, I would say to you all. Uh, it's something that's really stood by me over the 20 or 30 years. Uh, actually, I, I graduated in 1983, so thanks for 10 years. And well, it's just having no there. shield in there. <laughs> I, oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. No, of course, on, upon mature, mature reflection, it was actually 1997. Uh, I did my living cert in 1990. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, that's. Just back to well, yeah, when when I was going through NCAD, um, I was fortunate enough to be part of a particularly enlightened group and a very talented group of students. Uh, I hasten to add, I wasn't at the head of the herd with that group, but desperately, as I looked around me, I didn't want to be left behind. So again, it's a wonderful thing for all of you to have been in part of this group of people. Um, we we emerged in the midst of a recession in uh, 1983 which continued really on for about 15 years, you know, I mean. And what was great about it was that it offered, it offered us the opportunity to create employment for ourselves. And, and, and it really is true that in subsequent years during the Celtic Tiger, like I had a relationship with NCAD as well as, as here in, in, in AIT, and while students were being um, hoovered up uh, by employers in, in second and third year in, in advance of, the, of finishing their course in fourth year, the work they subsequently produced wasn't terribly enlightening. There was better work produced during the recession years. And that's because I think that you end up having to define yourself through your own work rather than becoming a kind of a mac monkey, you know, uh, that's, that's what happened. So again, with this group of great, great hopes. Um, I'd also like to thank the, the, the staff. Uh, they've done a, an incredible job. I was here. I, it's hard to believe, it's only two weeks ago, and I mean, we don't believe that it's the same place. Um, it's an incredible job. Um, 